everybody! Welcome back! It's a new season of Playdate with Art at home. This month's theme is sharing shelters. You might be wondering, what's a shelter? A shelter is a place that protects whatever's inside. That might be people like me, it might be animals like my cat Reggie, or it could be other things. I'm here in my living room in my apartment, which is my shelter. Let's go to the galleries and take a look at another kind of shelter in a painting there. Here I am in the galleries. The French painter Eugene Delacroix made this painting, Arab Encampment, in 1839. Let's take a closer look at it. Delacroix traveled from France to North Africa in 1832. After he came back to France, he spent a lot of time making paintings based on the sketches and notes he made during that trip. Here we can see two tents, one with people sitting inside it. We can also see some people standing outside next to some animals. It looks like they might be two horses, and I see that one of them is carrying something on its back. We don't know all the details about the people in this painting, but they are likely nomads, or people who move from place to place. Nomads in North Africa, like the people in this painting, might have moved in order to find land to take care of animals like sheep or goats. Some people still do this today. You can see here that the tents in the painting are not permanent or meant to stay up for a long time. The tents had to be sturdy enough to protect the people inside, but they also had to be easy to set up and take down so that the people could have shelter wherever they went. A shelter is a place that covers or protects people, animals, or other things. What kinds of shelters can you think of that different people live in? What about shelters for animals? Let's think of different shelters and build our own pretend shelter at home. Thanks for coming with me to the galleries. It's nice to be back in the museum again, isn't it? All right, now I'm back in my own living room in my shelter, and I'm gonna show you how we can build a fort together right in your own living room or any other space in your home. The first thing you need to do is ask a grown up for permission because we're gonna be using some different things around the house and we just wanna make sure that everything is safe to use and you're allowed to use it. I'm going to be using some furniture, the couch that I was sitting on before, and the ottoman, or if you have a table or something like that, I'm going to use that. I also got a few chairs. I got two chairs for my dining room here, and I got my desk chair for my office here. And then to build the fort itself, I got a sheet. Sheets are nice because they're good and light, so they work well to be kind of a roof on top, like a tent. And I also got some blankets so that my fort will be cozy. Um, I gathered some pillows here. I have some on my couch, but I got just a couple more to help build the structure. I'm also going to be using my couch cushions. So if you have a couch with cushions that can come apart, that's great to use. But I'll show you some other alternatives, too, if you don't have that. All right, let's get started. Okay, now that we have all of our stuff together, we need to figure out what space we're going to use. So for me, I'm going to use this space between my couch and the ottoman. There's just enough space here for me to fit inside. There's enough room for me here. If you don't have a space like this, you might be able to use the back of a couch if it's not against a wall, or maybe you have a big dining room table that you can go under, or maybe there's another piece of furniture you can use, or you could use, as I'm about to, some of the couch cushions. So hmm, now that we have our space, we have to figure out what are gonna make the walls of our fort. This will be one side, this will be another side, and I'm gonna make this the back and this will be the entrance. So I won't block it over here, but I do wanna block off this side. I'm gonna use a couch cushion for that. We're gonna be making a little mess. So I'll take one of these and I'm just gonna prop it up to make a little wall right here. And I'm also going to think about how I can use my chairs to kind of secure the sheet that I'm gonna put on top. So I'm turning my office chair around and see how I'm using the back if I put it this way, there's going to be kind of a gap between my wall and where the sheet's going to go. So I'm just going to turn it around. And with this chair, and actually any chair, since it's on wheels, I want to be careful not to lean back against this. This is really just to keep up the sheet. Um, I'm going to remember not to lean against this cushion. Otherwise, it'll push everything down. I'm going to take my other two chairs. And again, I'm going to turn them to the back like this. And like this. So this is gonna make another wall where I'm gonna put my sheet over the top. And before I put that sheet down, I'm just gonna lay down some blankets so that it's nice and cozy when I'm inside. 
This is a nice cozy blanket. I'll just lay it out. It's a little bigger than my space. Great. And Reggie, you're not going to like this, but I need to use that spot. Sorry, Reg. Excuse me. Sorry, Reggie. We need to build a fort right now. I need this one too. Bye bye. Okay. So this is going to be another wall where I'm going to tuck the sheets in. And I just want to put another blanket on that side. I'll use my Hello Kitty blanket up here just to make everything nice and cozy. And watch how I tuck the blanket underneath the cushions like this so it's nice and flat. Okay, now I'll take my sheet. And remember, we want to use the light sheet for the top. I have this nice jungle sheet with lots of animals on it. I'm gonna open it up. You might need a grown-up's help for this part. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna lay it over those walls that I made. The cushions, the chairs on this side, and the chair behind me. So open it up. Get this side. I'm not gonna tuck it in quite yet because I wanna see where everything kind of lays out. This side goes here. And oops. so what I want to do is kind of weigh down the ends here. That's what I can use my cushions for. And I know that side fell down, but I'm going to fix that in a second. Another way you can secure your sheet is to use a clip or a clothespin to pin it in place like this. Okay. This side I tuck in, and then this side. Oh, I have just enough for it to reach across. And I'm just gonna tuck it between the cushions like this. Gonna open this up a little bit so I can get inside. And now I have a pretty nice fort. What do you think? Let's take a look inside. Here we are inside my fort. How do you like it? I brought some friends. I have some little lights. If you have a flashlight, you could bring that in too. Here's mine. And I also brought in some of my favorite books. So now I can get cozy with my friends that I'm sharing my shelter with. And while we read a story, you can visit with our old friend, Mr. Steve. He has some songs about shelters that I think you're really gonna like. I'll see you back here afterward. All right, everybody, want to hear Strike and Nona? This one's one of my favorites. Oh, hello. It's great to see you all again, and it's great to be back at Playdate for Art. We're talking about shelters today. And this is a shelter that I built. It's a little shed. It's kind of like a fort where I can go and play my music, do some work, maybe take a nap. Um, I have two friends that built shelters on hills. And I want to tell you about them. And you can do it along with me or right after me. It's about Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle. So Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle both lived in houses up on hills. And when they wanted to go inside, they'd open the door, uh, they go inside and close the door, bam. Well, one day, Mr. Wiggle decided to visit Mr. Waggle. So he opened the door, uh, went outside and closed the door, bam. And he went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and he knocked down his door. Nobody answered. He rang the doorbell. Ding dong. Can you do that? Say ding dong. Ding dong. <laughs> and he said, oh, Mr. Waggles. Can you say that? Oh, Mr. Waggles. Nobody answered. So he decided to go back home. He went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill. He opened his door, went inside, closed the door, bam. And he went to sleep a little sad that day. The next day. 
Mr. Waggle decided to visit Mr. Wiggle. So he opened the door, went outside, closed the door, bam. And he went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill. And he knocked on the door. Do that with me. Nobody was home. He rang the doorbell. What does that sound like? Ding dong. No answer. And he was, and said, oh, Mr. Wiggle. Say that with me. Oh, Mr. Wiggle. Nobody answered. So he went back home, up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill. He opened his door, went inside, closed the door, bam. And he went to sleep a little sad that night. <laughs> the next day, they both had the same idea. They both opened the doors, went outside, closed the door, bam. And they went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill, and there they were, they saw each other. Oh, they were so happy, they hugged and they decided to play. They rolled down the hill and they climbed back up. <laughs> and they rolled down the hill and they climbed back up. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> they were so tired, they were very happy to see each other. So they gave each other hugs goodbye and they went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill, opened their doors, er, went inside, closed the door, bam. And that night they both went to sleep so happy. <sighs> After that day, they decided when they wanted to see each other, they'd call each other first. Oh, all that sleepy story made me kind of tired, and I know a good place to take a nap. My shed. Hey, before I go to sleep, I'm going to sing you a song about where all kinds of animals go to sleep. I'm going to sing a song before I take a rest in my shed called Goodnight Irene. It's an old, old song. And a grandma sang this to her little granddaughter who did not want to take a nap. It's all about where different animals sleep. And as a matter of fact, I might have some friends come and visit me and help me with this song. Here we go. Irene, good night. Irene. Good night, Irene, good night, Irene, I'll see you in my dreams. Foxes sleep in the forest. Oh, hello. Lions sleep in dens. Goats sleep by the mountain side. And llamas sleep in pens. Now try to sing along. I Ocean. Oh, hello, Sarah. Hello. Birds sleep in trees. And when I'm feeling so tired, my shed's the place for me. Cha-cha-cha! Thanks, Art Museum! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Poor Big Anthony. The end. Oh, hi, you're back. How did you like seeing Mr. Steve and hearing his songs? It's fun to think about animal shelters, too, right? Everyone has a different shelter. Thanks for joining us for Playdate with Art this month and building a shelter with me. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye!